As for the actual review, The Jetsons The Complete Series gets a 4 out of 5. The reason why this video is just a plain review and not an a unboxing and review video like most of my uploads about a single physical media release is because I opened up this set as soon as I purchased it this past Saturday so I could play a few episodes to see how they would play. There are a lot of episodes squeezed onto each of the discs. So I was a little bit worried that the picture quality wouldn't look very presentable because of over compression. Well, it seems like Warner Brothers decided to use dual layer discs for this set because all of the problems that the picture has on this DVD set thankfully seem to be a result of the age of the episodes and not a fault of the DVD set itself. Because of those initial concerns of mine, I guess we may as well begin this part of the video by discussing the AV quality. Since this set was released over a year after the Blu-ray of that season, I was hoping Season 1 would use its remasters from that release, simply downgraded to standard definition, but it instead uses the fuzzy 1995 Turner Entertainment prints, also used for the 2004 DVD set of the season. With the Comedy All-Stars version of the 1994 Hanna-Barbera logo playing right after the show's closing credits, which originally didn't have any logos playing after it. The only logo in the original version of the show's closing credits was the one that they actually placed within the credits themselves. However, based on the two of its discs that I actually own, Season 1 does look a little bit better here than on its original release. The picture is still riddled with dust and specks, but the image is sharper and the colors are brighter. You would assume that the woes in the show's picture quality would diminish as the set in the series progressed, but disappointingly, the 1980s episodes aren't too marginal of an improvement in this regard. They suffer from sparse wear and tear, occasional aliasing, and even a couple of instances of blurriness, which fails to do their digital colors justice. However, I've seen both 60s and 80s shows look way worse on DVD, so the picture should satisfy most viewers. There are no jagged edges or ringing around the lines, to indicate over compression. Season one is presented in mono, but the 1980s revival has stereo sound. Just like with the picture, the audio isn't extraordinary, but gets the job done. With the worst it suffers from being an occasional instance of dialogue being accidentally too drowned out by the background music. If you can't hear what, what a character is saying, though, English subtitles are kindly provided for every episode. There are also Spanish and French subtitles for season one, but not the 1980s episodes. Clearly, Warner Brothers thinks that foreign viewers wouldn't enjoy those newer installments. Sadly, the only extra on this newer Jetson set is the Jetsons Meet the Flintstones. Season 1's original DVD release and the 2019 Blu-ray set of the season featured a featurette on the making of the show, a series of shorts paying tribute to each member of the family, and audio commentaries on the first two episodes by the voice of Judy Jetson, Janet Waldo, who was the, only, who was the show's only surviving cast member at the time the DVD was released. 
before passing away herself in 2016. The first half of season two was accompanied on its standalone DVD set from 2009 by a single featurette about how the show's voice cast reunited in full for the revival. But the other two individual season DVD sets of the Jetsons were also bare bones, as is the standard for Warner Archive releases. If you already own all of the show's individual season releases, you'll definitely want to hold on to those sets that have special features on them. But now you can finally get rid of the two Burn On Demand sets, since the remaining 30 episodes of the revival are finally available on traditionally pressed DVDs for the first time ever thanks to this complete series set. I guess the only way your Jetsons collection could get better would be if we got a Blu-ray release of the 1980s revival, or even a truly complete series Blu-ray set. It's possible, since the revival was recently remastered to HD for HBO Max, but I guess we'll just have to stay tuned. Make sure to stay astro-mystic for the future. Several bad puns later. Alrighty then. It looks like we've pretty much reached the conclusion of this video. In the time you've spent with me tonight, I talked about my thoughts on the Jetsons, gave some history about its initial cancellation, defended the 1980s revival, and of course, talked about the show's complete series set by giving it a review and discussing the show's previous home media releases which I'm sure took much more effort than the amount that Warner Brothers put into this DVD set. As even its menus, which consist of nothing but white text placed on a black background alongside a static image of the set's front cover, fail to be very impressive. However, if you already own the Blu-ray of Season 1 and want to have the 80s revival on physical media in your collection, or can only buy one physical media release of the show, the complete series set is the way to go. I bought it at Walmart for $25, and it's even cheaper on Amazon, often going for as low as $15, which is a steal for a DVD set consisting of 75 episodes. If you enjoyed this review, then please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time, this is Jason the Cartoon Fan, signing off.